Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully before installing or operating your machine. Hi, I'm Brent Williams with Miller Electric. I'm going to discuss the benefits of proper tungsten selection and preparation so that you can get the best results from your TIG welds. All too often, we focus our attention on the welding machine and overlook a critical component that affects weld quality and performance. Tungsten size, type, and preparation can have a huge effect on the outcome of your weld. Let's take a look at how tungsten selection can affect the welding process. There are a couple considerations when selecting your tungsten. Material type, thickness, and the machine you have all play into which tungsten will give you the best results. With a Maxstar Dynasty, tungsten selection is easy. Whether you're welding in AC or DC, you can use the same tungsten and prepare it in the same way. Each tungsten alloy is identified by a color band painted on one end. 2% seriated or orange tungsten can be used for both AC or DC welding. Thoriated, which is red, and lanthanated, which could be yellow or blue, are commonly used for DC applications. Zirconiated or brown tungsten is a good option for AC welding, especially with a dynasty. In the past, pure tungsten, which is indicated by a green band, was recommended for aluminum. With today's dynasty, we no longer recommend pure tungsten. Now, tungsten diameter depends on the amperage range that you're going to be welding at. Most people are able to get away using a 332 diameter tungsten. However, if you're welding on thin material with lower amperages, use a smaller diameter tungsten. And if you're welding on thicker material at higher amperages, use a larger diameter tungsten. Okay, that covers tungsten selection. Now let's talk about how to properly prepare the tungsten for welding. For most applications, you'll start by grinding the end to a point like this. Grind marks should run lengthwise toward the point. This provides good arc starts and reduces arc wander. Special tungsten grinders like this one are available and make sharpening tungsten easier. Machine guides give you a consistent grind angle and the diamond wheel provides a smooth finish. You can grind your tungsten on a grinding wheel, but make sure to use a dedicated wheel to prevent contamination and ensure that your grind marks run toward the tip. This grinding technique should be used for both AC and DC applications. In AC, you may notice that the tip melts back slightly into a ball. However, if a large ball forms at the tip, move to a larger diameter tungsten. Some people prefer to blunt or place what's called a land on the tip of the electrode. This may be especially helpful for AC welding because it minimizes the meltback which can occur. In DC, your tungsten should maintain a nice sharp point. A blunt tip can also be used to produce a feather-like cone to the arc. At any rate, use the technique that best fits your application and allows you to get the job done. Miller recommends using Weldcraft branded tungsten because tungsten is a critical variable for TIG welding. It affects everything from arc starts to weld quality. That covers the basics of tungsten selection and preparation. For more information, go to MillerWelds.com and click on the Resources tab. Or you can visit WeldCraft.com where you'll find a complete guide of tungsten types, characteristics, and recommended applications. Thanks for watching.